Audio jump. <laughs> Chapter 4 After this I looked, and behold, a door was opened in heaven. And the first voice which I heard was as it were of a trumpet talking with me, which said, Come up hither, and I will show thee things which must be hereafter. And immediately I was in the Spirit. And behold, a throne was set in heaven, and one sat on the throne. And he that sat was to look upon like a jasper and a sardine stone. And there was a rainbow round about the throne, in sight like unto an emerald. And round about the throne were four and twenty seats, and upon the seats I saw four and twenty elders sitting, clothed in white raiment, and they had on their heads crowns of gold. And out of the throne proceeded lightnings and thunderings and voices. And there were seven lamps of fire burning before the throne, which are the seven spirits of God. And before the throne there was a sea of glass like unto crystal. And in the midst of the throne and round about the throne were four beasts full of eyes before and behind. And the first beast was like a lion, and the second beast like a calf, and the third beast had a face as a man, and the fourth beast was like a flying eagle. And the four beasts had each of them six wings about him, and they were full of eyes within. And they rest not day and night, saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord God Almighty, which, which was, was and is and is, and is to come. And when those beasts give glory and honor and thanks to him that sat on the throne, who liveth forever and ever, the four and twenty elders fall down before him that sat on the throne, and worship him that liveth forever and ever, and cast their crowns before the throne, saying, Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power, for Thou hast created all things, and for Thy pleasure they are and were created. From chapter 4 we enter the, into the things which shall be hereafter. The pattern of the book changes, and from this ch chapter forward, there is no record of the statement, He that have an ears to hear, let him hear what the Spirit is saying to the churches. Clearly, the events after chapter 3 now moves to heaven, and there is no mention of the church. A door opens up for John to continue his adventure 
which points to further evidence that the church is moved to heaven via the rapture. All of the basic laws of hermeneutics applies in the interpretations of the events from this chapter forward. Now, in order to understand clearly what's going to be happening from here forward, we need to apply not only your basic laws of English, but also basic laws of hermeneutics, which is uh, understanding the Jewish or Hebraic culture and what uh, certain things will mean in their language. For example, when we get to chapter 4, you will actually see that it talks about there is, there is something uh, like a rainbow. So whenever you see the word like or as, it is speaking of similes or metaphors. We're talking about something that John will use in his culture and his language that is 2,000 years ago that he's going to try to describe what he is seeing in that culture. Are you there with me? John has to explain uh, things that is in that culture, that language, in Jewish, uh, in Jewish environment with a brain of that knowledge without even understanding even our current time. So he's seen things beyond our time that he had to try to explain 2,000 years ago. Those that he could understand, he will use direct speech. So we need to understand as we move forward in our interpretation, if it is direct, it means therefore we accept it as is. If it is not direct, then we look at with any culture, within scripture to support what is going on. So in order for him to see the rest, he is told to come up here. John is a member of the human race, member of the Jewish race, but he's also a member of the church. And in order to see what is going on, he is transported to heaven. If he's a member of the church, I am of the view that this is the phrase that indicates that is when the rapture takes place, at the end of the church age, as we move forward. Are you there with me? All right, very important. Now, trumpet here signifies an authoritative voice. The throne it is the center of attention in heaven as John is greeted with the glory of emerald and a rainbow completely around the throne. In the spirit, John sees God the Father sitting on his throne in heaven. The gem and a rainbow shows the glory of God. Now watch this. Watch what's happening. Very important as he gets to heaven, what he actually sees is he sees this being that is on a throne and coming from the throne so he identifies uh, the, the, the person that is on the throne he can see somebody on a throne there's no doubt about it he doesn't say i see somebody uh, something look like somebody sitting on a throne but round about the throne he sees these different uh, uh gems and so on and one of the things he identifies is emerald and then he sees a rainbow round about rainbow round about now on planet earth we have rainbows and rainbow in your Bible supports the time of the flood where God told Noah after he came out um, he says when you see the rainbow it is a sign of a covenant so if it, if it means a covenant in Genesis it's a covenant here as well basic law of when you take scripture must interpret scripture the challenge however is that on earth rainbow moves from water surface to water surface so it moves from a water surface, bows in the air, and comes back down to water surface. You do not find a rainbow that makes a complete circle on planet Earth. Yet when he goes to heaven, he sees a rainbow round about. So the first thing John is greeted when he gets to heaven is, is a person on the throne. They are in full control and beaming from that throne is emerald and different colors of like everything that is green. You go back to Psalm 23, he leads you beside, beside green pastures. Green there is symbolic of life. So he's greeted coming out of the throne room of God is life. But in the midst of that is this rainbow, this rainbow round about, which means it's a covenant keeping God. The rainbow round about is a complete circle, which means eternal. So John is greeted in the throne or from the throne, beaming from the throne, eternal life. Y'all got it? Amen. Amen. So very important for us to be able to identify. 24 elders. So there are 24 elders around the throne and probably represent the raptured church in heaven. Their seats or throne shows a reward and authority that will take place during the millennium period. Their crowns are crowns of reward from the judgment seat of Christ. Now, when we are raptured, the first thing that's going to happen is that we go to a place where we get our reward. We are told daily to take up our cross and one day we will trade it for a crown. You cannot cast crowns unless you first get crowns. Are you there with me? And here you have evidence of human beings in heaven 
Casting tongues as a part of worship. That means everything we have done for earth, for on earth and everything that we have accomplished, all the rewards we get, we take it and we make it part of worship. Now, let me tell you this quickly. Let me just see uh, hands of all those who are involved in worship or worship leaders or you're involved in some aspect of worship, backup music, anything like that. Just, just lift a hand up, please. Great. Let me give you a quick bonus. Revelation has the highest level of worship throughout all of the Bible. Revelation gives you the template of what worship is like in the future. Amen. In John chapter 4, Jesus uh, indicates to the woman of the well that the Father is looking for worshippers. You know why? Yeah. Because Lucifer used to leave worship in heaven and he get kicked out. Yeah. And uh, there is a search now for a new worship leader. Yeah. And for the last 2,000 years, the job of the church is to go around the world and recruit a group of people that will become the leaders of worship in heaven. Are you there with me? And I must say, in the last 20 years or so, we have actually seen through things like gateway music and hillsong and integrity music, where people have actually recognized that the standard of worship is to go and worship the one that sits on the throne. Let's just get into the glory of God and praise God for worthy is the Lamb. Are you there with me? Amen. So we are now closer than ever, just before the rapture, the church must come to the highest level of worship because that is what we will be in charge of when we get there. Are you there with me? Alright? Very important for us to identify. So the seven lamps are the seven spirits of God which symbolizes the Holy Spirit and we, uh, we identified that already in chapter 1 where we actually see Yes, it is one Holy Spirit, but there are seven different aspects of it. And there are seven lampstands, so seven lamps that are proceeding off from the throne of God. So this is what you, you will also see when you get to heaven as well. The four beasts are four living creatures. Living creatures. Now, these uh, beings, uh, these, these beasts or beings are really, really powerful. They're, the original language actually called them living, living ones. And they are some type of angels. They are guardians to the throne of God. They are full of eyes which symbolizes wisdom. Their wings depict movement. They worship God as did the seraphims in Isaiah chapter 6, as you remember. Now, I have the view that Isaiah chapter 6, when, when Isaiah saw the seraphims, at Ezekiel chapter 1, where you also saw a group of four beings as well. And this one in Revelation chapter 4, 5 and beyond, seems to be the exact same four beings, or four creatures. Now, these creatures have four faces. Each one of them has four faces. They look like a lion, an ox, a man and an eagle. Lion there represents, they actually portrays the four depictions of Christ on the earth. Four depictions of Christ. Four major elements of planet earth, which is dirt, or ground, or earth, wind, fire, and water. Four major elements on earth. Alright? But the lion is seen in Matthew, which represents strength, and Christ is the lion of the tribe of Judah. In Mark, he is represented as the calf, where he is the servant. A look is represented as the face of man, which talks about intelligence more than anything else in Luke is called the son of man. And in John he is recognized as the eagle in terms of swiftness or in terms of his heavenly um, his heavenly origin. The angelic vision shows strong illusions in Ezekiel chapter 1 and also shows the four depictions in the four gospels. Are you there with me? So here what when you get to the throne. These four beings will actually be a representing or portraying the four Gospels and the four records of Christ that are there. All of heaven gets involved in worship. The angels exalt his character. The elders um, exalt his creative power. God has the right to rule and sovereign authority to judge the earth because he is both holy and the creator of all. Sea of Glass here speaks of many people, and uh, over and over in your Bible, the Bible will also make mention of where you have a um, multitude of people that will actually be represented by a great sea, a great sea. So you have multitudes of people that are actually highlighted, showing the indication, therefore, that we have um, major elements of individuals. 
The other thing that is interesting is this. These four beasts with God on each road is a direct photocopy of what the Aaronic priests would have operated on in the Old Testament. You are the high priest, which was Aaron. Aaron had four of his sons that were there that would actually be the next in charge of. Yeah, those four uh, priests of, um, of the Levites. And then following them, you had 24 priests before you had the distribution to the people. So the Aaronic priesthood was a direct photocopy of exactly what we see in Revelation in terms of Christ on the throne, the four beasts and then the 24 elders. One mirrors the other. Are you there with me? One mirrors the other. The book of Revelation is the best pattern of worship in heaven. Let me tell you, in heaven you will find worshippers, they worship in unity, they worship in, with a, with, in order, and they worship in a high standard and all of God's creation get involved. Thank God we don't have this happening here at Separia. You know sometimes you go to places and you find a drummer trying to outbeat the singer. Or a backup worship leader trying to out sing the worship leader. When it comes to worship, they must all flow in unity, they must all flow in order, and there must be a high standard, which is the throne becomes the center of that. The elders here could be leaders of the church that have gained their rewards for their works on earth. They now have achievements of comes, and they cast them at the feet of him that is worthy of worship. 